Trip It Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Trip It. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Trip It, you could also click the link in the description or earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Trip It, it is a travel organization app in which it is designed to simplify the travel planning process for both leisure and business travelers. And this app allows users to consolidate all travels, details such as flights, hotels, car rentals, and activities into a single, easily accessible itinerary. And users can simplify forward their booking confirmation emails to TripIt, which automatically parses the information and generates the comprehensive itinerary that can be viewed online or offline or from any device. So to start installing this application, you can simply go to your App Store or Google Play Store and start searching for TripIt and start installing it. After opening this one, you will be directed in this page and it will show you an option such as to create an account or to log in. And by simply clicking the create account button, you will automatically be directed on this page where you can simply fill out all of the required information including the email address, password, and home city but you could also create an account using your Google account, Facebook, or Apple ID in here, but in this option, I'm going to choose to create an account using my Google account. Then you will automatically be directed on this page right here of TripIt. So just fill out the required information such as your first name, your last name, and even your birthday in here, and your home city. And by clicking the submit button, you will automatically be directed on this dashboard or homepage of TripIt. So from here below, it will show us some of the options such as trips and other kind of alerts pro and file the name and account option so we can start simply clicking on it to start navigating this one and from here you could also turn on the push notification if you want to but going back to this page if you also want to turn on the inbox sync you could also click the button on the top panel but to start adding a new trip just click the plus button below here now on this page all you need to do is simply enter here your destination or where you want to travel for example i'm going to enter tokyo japan and after that the simply enter here the starting date that you're traveling and also the end date in here and after that just simply enter the trip name for instance i'm going to enter here christmas vacation then below you can add a description but to click or save it just click the icon on the top right corner after saving it you will now be directed in this page and if you also want to add activity just click on it and click add plans in here so you can start adding your flight accommodation car rental and many more starting to this ad flight just simply enter here the airline that you want or you book to for example philippine airline and after that just simply enter here below the flight number and also the confirmation number below here and after entering those kind of information just click add flight button below to proceed then you will be directed in this page but as you can see the flight here is not found so you could also enter here other kind of details such as the number of seats the departure details, including the departure time, city, zone, departure terminal, and many more. But moving on, you can also enter below the arrival details. But at this point, I'm not going to save it, but I'm going to discard this one. But moving on, aside from adding a plan of flight, you'd also add accommodation in here by simply entering here the accommodation name or the name of your hotel that you are booking. You could also add here the address, phone number, the website. And other accommodation details of your hotel that you want to stay now going back on this page you said from that you'd also navigate here the car rental you simply fill out all of this required information to do so but let's say we want to add an activity such as by clicking on it we're going to enter here or select activity meeting tour concert theater and i'm going to enter activity and proceed by entering the event name such as for example walk around then below you can navigate or enter the venue, the addresses. For example, I'm going to enter the Tokyo, which is this one. After entering the location, you can now proceed by clicking the save button on the top right corner to save it. And after doing that, below here, it will show us in here the result. So if you click on it, it will show us the details of it. Wherein from here, we can start adding or attach a PDF or photo, see the neighborhood info, the booking info or attendees that we can add in here such as by entering the travel agency, the booking site and many more. You could also add the attendees by simply entering here or filling out all of those required information. 
And aside from that, you could also add here notes by clicking this notes button. But moving on, aside from that, you could also click your location in here. Then you could also open it on your Google Maps to see where it is actually located. And if you also want to share this kind of activity, just click the share icon on the top right corner. And it will show you that you can share it on different kind of platforms, email, and many more. So basically from here, by simply clicking our trip in here and click this icon below, it will automatically show us the Google Map, including the places that are nearby for a specific location. But moving on, going back to this page, you could also add a plan by clicking the plus button, such as to add a cruise, directions, map, note, parking, and many more, and even this restaurant that you want to eat. Moving on below here, you could also add this pro option that you can only access once you have a pro account, then filed items, where it will show you some of the items that you are not still filed. So under this account section, you can navigate some other options such as to create a pin or documents for your travel documents, travel contacts, safety, inner circle, and many more, and even new travel status. So overall, that is just basically how you can use TripIt. Thank you.